State. Hey there, budding botanists. I'm Aaron. And I'm Mimi. And we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany, Botany for, for kids. kids. And today we're learning about some of the biggest leaves in the world. Yeah. I put it on here. You can't really see it. Either. Yeah, today we're going to show you guys some of the biggest tree leaves uh, in the world. So, if you're following along with us, then it may be autumn or fall where you are. And what happens during the fall to tree leaves? Leaves Yeah, leaves tend to fall off of the trees then. At least the ones that lose their leaves. And these are the trees that are not what, Evie? I know. What are the trees that stay green all year long? They are evergreens. Yeah. They are evergreens. Evergreen trees keep their leaves all year long, but deciduous trees lose their leaves in the fall and take a break, kind of take a nap. And the reason for they that, back. yeah, and the reason for that is because there's less light available in the fall and the winter. Evie, can I get you to sit in this chair and pretend to be a, the sun for me for a second? Yeah. We'll let her big, beautiful blonde hair pretend to be the sun and my so remember that at the center of our solar system we have the sun right and the earth i'll be the earth since i'm blue rotates around the sun if you hold it, it's one of the wheels, rotates right. around the sun like this right but another big key is that the earth is also rotating and so during certain times of the year sorry son now call me son. During certain I'm times your daughter. Of, during certain times of the year, there's less light available because the angle of the light changes between the sun and the earth. And because there's less light, the leaves fall off the trees and they take a nap or a break, okay? So, we want to show you the biggest tree leaves that we could find in our area, and actually they end up being some of the biggest ones in the world, okay? So yeah, this, this is a Chinese parasol tree. Where do you think it comes from, Evie? Chinese parasol, Chinese parasol tree. It's what? Chinese, where do you think it comes from? China. Very good. Chinese in China. So this, is a royal empress tree. Both of these are invasive. Do you know what invasive means? Do you remember? They are, there are kind of too many of them and they come from far, far away. Yes, they're plants that come from far away or animals, right? They're plants that come from far away and a lot of times there's too many of them. In fact, you can find these Chinese parasol trees and these royal empress trees growing along the road, often along, time, along the interstate as well. They have lots of tiny seeds and they grow really, really fast and really, really big and they can push some of our native trees out of the way. And that's not good because if they push our native trees out of the way, a lot of our animals, things like birds that eat the seeds, Maybe these trees don't have the seeds that they like to eat. So that's one of the reasons we say native trees are better. This is the largest native tree in North America. This is called the big leaf magnolia, okay? Now, scientists debate if all invasive trees are bad because they do grow really, really fast. And that means they suck up a lot of the carbon dioxide, which is a gas that's released when we burn things like coal and gasoline to make our cars and to get energy from our house, they suck it up and they store it inside of their plant bodies. So some scientists say maybe invasive trees are not all that bad. Yes. And some scientists say that native trees and native plants are by far the best. And of course, we'll have to wait into the future to see. But it's a good idea to maybe look up these things and kind of decide for yourself. It probably, in the end, depends very specifically on the tree species. Go over with. All right, so just to review, 
we have some of the biggest tree leaves in the world here for you. We've got a native one, the big leaf magnolia. We have this. We've got the Chinese parasol tree. Evie's got that one, and I've got- Chinese thing, I forgot what it's called. Chinese parasol tree. Parasol, parasol is another word for umbrella, because look, it's kind, it's, of, an it's kind of like an umbrella. I've got the Royal Empress tree, and these two are invasive. You wanna remind them what invasive means? There are too many of them, and they come from far away. There you go, there are too many of them, and they come from far away. And remember that these are all deciduous. They fall off the trees that they're on in the fall because there's less light available. Yes. When, and that's also a reason why the sun sets quicker in the fall, winter, and stuff. Exactly, Sometimes Evie. Before. Very good. So, if you get a chance, see if you can find some of these invasive trees growing in your area or maybe just pay a little bit closer attention to the leaves that are falling off the trees this time of year some of them are beautiful we'll talk about why that is in or another just episode this time of year for us if you want this later yes is, or you are somewhere else all possibilities as always i'm aaron and i'm evie and we're just a couple of backyard botanists and this is botany for kids i just did my intro and said